There's nothing more perfect than a wild salmon caught at sea. Every wild Alaska salmon is an absolute miracle of nature. As fish, they're exquisitely designed, sleek and powerful. And as an animal, they fit perfectly into the environment that shapes and nourishes their lives. In the salmon country of Southeast Alaska, nearly constant rain falls on the mountainsides. It gathers into trickles and streams. It filters down through the forest. The ancient trees shade the rivers. They create pools and shallows. They keep the rivers clean and pure and cold. Salmon are creatures of this vast and singing forest. They share this northern world with some of the most charismatic animals on earth. It's a phenomenal place, unspoiled, untamed, braided together with an unparalleled wildness. Tiny salmon fry start their lives here. They swim far out into the North Pacific. They grow heavy in the blue depths and they come back as adults to the very streams where they were born. After they return to their home stream, salmon spawn and then they all die. In the process, they feed well over a hundred species of land and water animals and the nutrients from their bodies fertilize the forest. So just as salmon are made from the forest, the forest is also made from salmon. Salmon are deeply woven into the culture of Alaska's native people. For thousands of years, native elders have welcomed the salmon as a sacred gift. They've treated salmon with reverence for an essential source of life, and they've taken care to preserve the annual salmon runs. Still today, fishing is very carefully regulated in Alaska to keep the salmon abundant, to protect the environment they need, and to guarantee the future for Alaska's fishing communities. The highest quality Alaska salmon are harvested by hook and line fishermen, working off the coast, working among the labyrinth of islands and inlets. The men and women who catch these fish are professionals. They're true artisans. They're experts in a complex and age-old craft. I started commercial fishing when I was 12, and I first got into trolling when I was 18 as a deckhand, and then ran my first boat right when I turned 19. I started fishing because I didn't want to be away from my boyfriend for seven months at a time, honestly. Um, and then I kept doing it because it turned out I really liked it. It means freedom, and it means completely being dependent on yourself and your own devices and your own ingenuity because you can't always call someone to help bail you out. And you get to be a part of the salmon story and this wild sustainable resource and be a part of, be really a part of the environment in a really powerful way. It's always just the two of us and our dog, Whiskey. We'll head out anywhere from three to 55 miles offshore and search for the, the mother load of salmon. For us catching these fish, uh, hook and line fishery, yeah, it's an art. You're constantly learning. You can vary your, your depth and your color patterns to what species you're catching. So it's a really clean fishery. I don't feel like I'm abusing the ocean.
As soon as that fish hits the deck, we're running clean, cold sea water through their circulatory system and making sure there's no blood left over. Because blood is really the first thing that starts to decay the flesh and put on ice within 30 minutes of being on board. So hook and line really gives us the freedom to process each fish to completion as soon as it hits the deck. It's the best feeling coming in with a big load of fish, just the three of us out there doing work with all the big boys. Seafood Producers Co-op is a really fantastic resource for fishermen because they are member owned, fishermen owned. Their processing plan upstairs is it's clean, it's highly staffed it's with all the newest machines and technologies. They're quick to process because they're personally invested in getting a high quality fish to the consumers just as much if not more than we are. You worked really hard to make this perfect product and the faster you get it there, the fresher it's going to be. Because you never know who's going to be eating that fish. You know, there's someone in uh, San Diego that gets that fish or New Orleans. You want to make sure that experience for them is the experience we have when we eat it. That's a pretty cool part of being a commercial fisherman is like, okay, so that person can't experience going fishing with me per se. so. Let's make that experience happen on his plate, basically. Like, let's make sure that fish gets to them just perfect. We want to know that we tried our hardest to take care of that fish and get it to his plate, and he gets that experience when he takes a bite of what Alaska's like. These fish embody the spectacular, pristine world of Alaska. When you eat wild salmon, you become part of the great restless ocean, the mountains and the forest, the rivers and the rain, the fishermen out at sea, and the life of remote Alaskan fishing communities. Wild Alaska salmon are a gift that we can give to ourselves. They might simply be the best and purest food we can buy anywhere. The flavor of true Alaskan wildness.